Dorothy West was born in Boston in 1907 to a comfortably upper-middle-class family, and she attended Boston University. She began writing at a young age and was successful from the very start. As a high schooler, she was selling short stories to the Boston Post, and before she was 18, West had won second place in the national competition sponsored by Opportunity Magazine, an honor she shared with no less than Zora Neale Hurston. The winning story, The Typewriter, was later included in The Best Short Stories of 1926. West was good friends with other artists of the Harlem Renaissance, such as County Cullen, Langston Hughes, Claude McKay, and Wallace Thurman. In the 1930s, she founded The Challenge and served as the editor of that literary journal for several years. During the Depression, West's father lost much of his money, so when he died, she didn't inherit much. Eventually, she had to supplement her writing and acting income with social work and became a welfare worker for a short period of time. Eventually, she landed a job with the New York Daily News and proceeded to write short stories for that newspaper for over two decades. In 1947, West returned to her family's vacation home on Martha's Vineyard, and from that point on, she became associated with Oaks Bluff and the Vineyard, becoming one of its most famous literary residents. She published her novel, The Living is Easy, in 1948, and it centered upon the upper-middle-class group of African-American families who had vacation houses on the island. West became a writer for the Martha Vineyard Gazette, and her stories gained her a lot of fans among the rich and well-connected, such as Jackie Onassis Kennedy, who vacationed on the vineyard. In fact, it was Jackie Onassis who encouraged West to finish her final novel, The Wedding, which was published to great acclaim in 1995. It became a television miniseries, a clip from which I've included at the end of this lecture. West died in 1998 at the age of 91, and at her 90th birthday party the year before, she was recognized as the last living member of the Harlem Renaissance. This movie is unique because I think it shows a world that most people have rarely seen. A world where black families are all highly educated, very successful, living in Martha's Vineyard. Halle Berry plays Shelby Coles. Her upcoming wedding to a white jazz musician threatens to tear the whole family apart. She's a young woman, forced to confront her own feelings about love and commitment and her family's hidden secrets days before her wedding. As far back as I can remember, I've spent every July and August with my family here in the Oval on the island of Martha's Vineyard. Every summer was filled with laughter and light. The ocean, the sounds of my sister and I laughing, playing. But there's one summer that changed my life forever, the summer of 1953. My family's history came alive for me that July. Well, it did for all of us, really. On one side of my family tree, I'm the great-great-granddaughter of a slave owner. And on the other side, I'm the great-great-granddaughter of a slave. I inherit both these stories. We all inherit these stories, though. It's true what they say. In order to understand who you are, you have to first understand where you are from. I certainly did that summer. 